As paramedics raced onto the set of rust, it was too late to save cinematographer Helena Hutchins. By her side, director Joel Souza was also being treated for a gunshot wound. As they were being rushed to nearby hospitals, sheriff's deputies soon approached Alec Baldwin. Are you doing okay? No, I'm not, actually. For the okay. first time, yeah. we are now hearing his exchanges um, with investigators. I was the one holding the gun, yeah. As crime scene technicians photographed Baldwin, they also retrieved video evidence. Deputies say this clip during rehearsal shows Baldwin drawing his revolver just moments before the fatal shot was fired. Sorry. You're okay. Sorry. Just relax. Just relax. I'm so scared. I'm sorry. You're all right. Just relax. <laughs> A flustered Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the armorer in charge of all weapons on the set, seems to be surprised when she's told Baldwin was holding the gun. He would had the gun. You know what I mean? Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Oh, are you serious? So. Cameras were also rolling during extensive sit-down interviews, where a despondent Gutierrez Reed made a phone call before speaking to investigators. They were that's what I'm saying. I checked and they rattled. When rounds rattle, it's an indication the ammunition is a dummy round. But investigators say several live bullets, which don't rattle, were found on set. Most people just aren't aware of like the exacting nature of reloading. And during their interview with the film's ammunition provider, Seth Kenny provided deputies a series of old text messages where Hannah Gutierrez Reed had asked for live ammo during the filming of a previous movie, which is never allowed on set. She wanted to shoot live ammo out of the guns, the TV movie guns, and I said, no effing way, obviously. This morning, a clearer picture into a complex investigation and the still unanswered question, how did live rounds get onto a movie set? Now, we reached out to Hannah Gutierrez-Reed and her attorneys. They told us they are still reviewing that footage. As for criminal charges in this case, we may not know if that happens for weeks or even months. Savannah? All right, Miguel, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.